So they're gonna be squished together in no time. <laughs> oh my god! Did you see the blood? Did you see the blood? Is it just gonna come for me? No, he can't do that. No, you sit, sit, be a good boy, be a good boy, sit. Ah! <laughs> Here we are, a Californian house. I've rented this for the weekend and we're gonna we're gonna spend some time over here. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna check check things out. And um, yeah, as far as I can tell, this looks like your regular, normal, like uh, getaway place with cars and jet boards, whatever those are. And like, um, oh, I, didn't close the I didn't know I could close this. Oh, that's, that's cool. Now nobody's gonna rob my car. And of course, a rocket. That's right. This place came with a freaking rocket. And I'm gonna see what this thing can do. Uh, does it require like any... Oh, this is really big. That's what she said. Um, do I just... Do I just click it? Let's just click it and see what happens. Ah! Ooh. Um, right. How do I accelerate? Oh, accelerate. Okay. Do I need to steer this? Or can I just like... That's not where I want it to go. Um, how do I... How do I make this go to space? Um, oh, B. Um, how do I, yes, just speed upwards. Um, how do I, it's just going forwards. This rocket is not going like upwards. It's just going, this is a stupid rocket. Whoever planned this or designed this rocket needs to go back to rocket school because this is not the way it works. Right, let me out of this place. I've taken a quick course in how to fly a rocket and I think I can do it now. So here we go. Off into space, lift off. We have lift off. I didn't, I'm leaving my island that I just spent a lot of time going to. Um, we're, we're 500 meters in altitude. Um, can I just tell that I've never flown a rocket, so I don't exactly know how this is gonna work. But so far, so good. Um, we're not, we're not crashed yet. I've, ha I've officially gone into orbit. Okay, can I like stop this now? Can I like, can I like deaccelerate some? I think I turned the thrusters off. I don't know if that's good or bad. How do I, can I like go back down somehow? I'd like to go back down, please. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm turning the rocket around. What if I jump out right now? Oh, no, there goes my rocket and I'm not even falling towards earth. That's, that's sad. Well, that was a trip and a half. God, I'm so glad to be back. There's um, there's fish in the pond. I, I think this this pond has been unused for quite a while because there's fish in it. That's not good. Well, if there's small fish over here, there has to be some big fish as well. Oh no, that's not, that's that's a megalodon shark. Ah, uh, that's not cool. Hi there, sharky. <laughs> that's a big mouth you've got there. Um, I didn't see you before. How how did you get over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is stupid. This is amazing though. It looks nice. I'm wondering if I could send this to space. There we go. We got the rocket. Now we need to attach the shark somehow to the rocket and fly it up to space. I've got a cable I could use. Maybe that'll work, right? Surely the cable could work, right? Wait, is the, is the cable too long? Okay, so let's attach the cable to the chair. The chair to the to the to this thing the palm tree and the palm tree to the rocket yes i solved it and then we just need to cut the oh god there you go right it's attached again so now if i go into the rocket and if i try to fly away surely we're gonna take the shark with us here we go maybe i can just exit and make the rocket fly on its own here we go rockets away oh the shark is following it <laughs> goodbye shark. Uh. The rocket's not really carrying it. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, rocket, more speed, more speed. There you go. Speed. The, the, the shark can't be that heavy, right? Just fly up. Come on, then. Oh, God, I've made a mess. There's only one, one thing to do to get rid of this. There you go. And rocket goes bye-bye. Right on the shark. Oh, don't, not on the house. Oh, good, the shark saved it. That's good. That's good. Now to figure out if an impact or a crash like this is lethal to humans, I've got Melon Buddy over here. This guy here, this is like a crash test dummy. And supposedly, if I cause any harm to him, it will show. So, um, don't, don't want me. Let's just see how it works then. You see? And then he just, he's not even harmed. Really? Seriously? I thought I hired you so that you could show me how much damage I do. Well, if a bomb is not gonna do it, 
a rocket sure as hell will and now i can actually drag you real close to it and i can send you up into the sky cable there we go put you to the rocket and then i'm just gonna quickly go into the rocket and fly and jump out so that we can see if you go with it <coughs> right lift off here we go full-on acceleration there we go and he's up and the ragdoll is uh gone i'm guessing that worked i think we sent the ragdoll to the moon or wherever that rocket goes but God, there's a lot of there's a lot of gas going on here <coughs> god there's really been a lot of things happening here today hasn't there i'm sure nothing else could possibly go wrong unless we've got a giant t-rex coming for me what is this there's no way where did this t-rex come from how do I how do I get rid of it? Um, is it just gonna come for me? No, it can't do that. No, you sit, sit, be a good boy, be a good boy. Sit. Ah! <laughs> I need to get at the T-Rex from a distance. Um, is there anything I can use against it? Um, well, what about a gun? Come on, you stupid little short arm bastard. Yeah, come at me. You, you can't handle the gun. Come on then. Are you done? You're not done yet. No, 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 no. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away from... I think I did it. You're still alive. It's still coming for me. Okay, I need something more powerful. Rocket launcher! Bah! I missed him. Bah! I missed him again. Bah! Come on, then. Oh, freaking finally. Ah! You can't handle me. <laughs> now we're back with this lovely fellow. Now, the T-Rex over there really piqued my interest. I'm wondering... If there's a way I could make the T-Rex eat you instead of me, because I didn't like him chasing me, but I would love him chasing you. So, uh, bibbidi boppity. The T-Rex is now again on this property and there he comes. Okay, I'm just gonna go hide in the bushes over here and I'm gonna watch this from a distance because I can't wait for the T-Rex to eat the little test me I have set up. No, the T-Rex is coming for me again. This is not cool. No, no, leave me alone, T-Rex. Leave me the hell alone. No, bad dog, sit. Oh my God. It's also lagging a lot because the T-Rex is so massive. God, this trip to, to like this vacation island is going straight to sh isn't it? I'm wondering if there's a way for me to like get rid of the T-Rex. I'm thinking rockets. A rocket could probably work, right? But how do I get the T-Rex attached to the rocket? Also, what the hell is that sound? Stop, stop making that sound. Stop, stop making that sound. Man, this T-Rex is ruining everything. It's lagging so much. I think I need to take my experiments to another level because there you go. This is not working, Melon Man. <laughs> I have officially found the perfect place to conduct some more experiments. And this is GM Construct. There's no better place than this. So I need to contain the T-Rex somehow. Uh, I'm gonna try and cable it down to the floor and maybe that will act, but I'm dead. And eat me, eat me, you bastard. Oh, I did it. It's attached, ha ha. It's attached to the grates. Re eat, rip the ground with it. It didn't. Come on then. Let's see if the cable can hold it. Come on, cable. Come on, cable. This cable is dumb. The cable doesn't do anything. No, please just hold the T-Rex. Please hold it. Oh my God, look. Oh, it might be working. Is it, is it working though? It's not working. There you go. One more, one more. Yeah, you didn't have this when you were eating humans in your past life. There we go. I think I've contained it because I really want to strap it to a rocket, damn it. Right then, I'll just fly. What can you do about it, you stupid little... Well, this is not going to work, is it? Because now the T-Rex is attached to the ground and there's no way I can get the rocket up with it. That's not going to hinder me from, like, trying. Here we go. Attach to the rocket. And into the rocket we go. In the rocket. Oh, no. The T-Rex tipped the rocket over! It's fine. The rocket has some auto-stabilizing things. Here we go. Full speed. T-Rex with me. Into space you go, T-Rex. All right, let's see if the rocket... The rocket cannot take the T-Rex with it. This is unreal. How strong is it? Look, I'm, de I'm deforming it. I'm even spewing it with rocket fuel and it doesn't... Cut this experiment right now. This is not working. So technically, the only thing I need from the T-Rex is the mouth, which is why I've come to this level, which is, it's only a mouth. And I can even control the mouth from up here. There's like four buttons. We can teeth up or teeth down. There we go. And stop, stop it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Let's just leave it like that. 
We now need to put something in the mouth so that the teeth can chew it. What better to put in here than some people playground humans? All right, so let's go up here to the control panel again and let's do teeth down. Here we go. Get chomped on. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Get yeah, I just realized one thing. That was never gonna work because I didn't put the humans in the correct position. So sorry, if I could just move you a little bit. I've put two more humans over here and they're on the teeth now. So they're gonna be squished together in no time. Oh my God, did you see the blood? Did you see the blood? That's amazing. They're completely gone. There's nothing remaining here. I, I did it. I chewed up some humans and I didn't even, I didn't even need a T-Rex for it. So that's pretty cool. But I do have the next best thing against a thing like this, which is a weed whacker. Oh yeah. You have met your maker. <laughs> Son of a... Okay, so what about a acid gun? Take my acid. Oh yeah. How is, it, how is this not killing the T-Rex? I need more acid! More! Okay, it's he's not turning into he's not turning into it's not working. What about a lava gun? Yes, son! Holy crap! This thing was uh this thing was something else. Oh my god. I obliterated the T-Rex and I didn't even mean for it. It's pretty cool. So since the rocket seems to be quite overpowered, I've brought you to a hot air balloon. This will be the ultimate test against the ragdolls because I will strap them to the cage or whatever this, the basket of it. And we're gonna fly up and then we're gonna cut them off. Not not them, but the, the lines holding the ragdolls. There we go, one ragdoll. If you could just stay up right now, Mr. Balloon, that would be amazing. I think two will do. So let's attach you to the balloon and you to the balloon. And then I'm gonna go in it. Oh, I can't. It's, is it deflating? Is, is this really deflating? We need to, it's really deflating. It's just, we need to add more stuff to it. Come on then, come on then, up you go. All right, yeah, that's exactly what was happening. It was deflating. Then we just burn some more and then we will eventually fly all the way up with the humans and it's gonna be f a fun experiment. <laughs> what is that I'm smelling? Is that something? Oh crap. Why does this always happen to me? Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm, I did it again. Oh, you're burning now. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, it's just, it's about to fall on top of you. I think we need to do this quicker. So I'm just gonna put the human straight into the basket with me. We're just gonna take one. And then we're gonna go all the way up as high as we can go. And I'm gonna drop this guy from wherever we're going off to. I don't know how long I need to like hold the burner thing. here. I don't know for how much like, I don't know how much heat this thing needs. Oh, we're going up. Oh, yes, we are flying. You see, you see this? You see this wonderful scenery, this wooded place? Oh, more burn. All right, we're going quite high up. I know that you're shaking, but this is gonna be fun. So, uh, are we high enough? I think we're high enough. Goodbye now. Good, good goodbye. Come, come on. Okay, well, there's only one thing left to do then. There you go, fall down. Fall down, you stupid imbecile. Oh, whoops. Oh, I might have. Uh oh, I just. Oh, no, this is not good. No, no. 